Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Beautiful Birds of the World, Poetic Tour. The Blue Jay. The Blue Jay is a bird native to eastern North America. It breeds in both deciduous and coniferous forests and is common in residential areas. It is predominantly blue with a white chest and underparts and a blue crest. It, is, it has a black V-shaped collar around its neck and a black border behind the crest. The blue jay mainly feeds on nuts and seeds such as acorns, soft fruits, anthropods, and occasionally small vertebrates. It typically gleans food from trees, shrubs, and the ground, though it sometimes hawks insects from the air. Blue jays can be very aggressive toward other birds. They sometimes raid nests and often been observed decapitating other birds. Like squirrels, blue jays are known to hide nuts for later consumption. It, it builds an open cup nest in the branches of a tree, which both sexes participate in constructing. The clutch can contain seven eggs, which are bluish or light brown with brown spots. The young may remain with their parents for one or two months. The name jay derives from its noisy, garrulous, gregarious nature. It is sometimes called a jay bird. Now this creature is a character, like something out of the theater of the absurd. The red-crested turaco. The red-crested turaco is a frugivorous or fruit-preferring bird endemic to western Angola in southwestern Africa. Its call sounds somewhat like a jungle monkey. They are seen in flocks of up to 30 birds or in pairs. They usually remain in trees, only coming down to eat or drink. Both parents incubate the eggs in a flimsy nest, 5 to 20 meters above the ground in dense foliage. The young leave the nest at 4 to 5 weeks old. The red-crested turaco is the national bird of Angola. If one cannot, cannot see beauty in this creature, perhaps the individual is in a coma. The Golden Pheasant The Golden Pheasant, also known as the Chinese Pheasant and Rainbow Pheasant, is a game bird that is native to forests in mountainous areas of western China. There are feral populations in Europe, North and South America, and the South Pacific. The adult male is 40 inches in length, its tail accounting for two-thirds of its total length. They feed on the ground on grain, leaves, and invertebrates, but they roost in trees at night. While they can fly clumsily in short bursts, they prefer to run and spend most of their time on the ground. The golden pheasant is commonly found in zoos, and because of their beauty, they have the ability to amuse. The Painted Bunting The Painted Bunting is a species of bird in the cardinal family that is native to North America. The male Painted Bunting has been described as the most beautiful bird in, 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 the, in, North Ameri in the world, or somewhere. Its colors, dark blue head, green back, red rump, and underparts, makes it extremely easy to identify but it can still be difficult to spot since it often skulks in foliage, even when it is singing. Painted buntings are shy, secretive, and often difficult to observe with the human eye. Painted buntings often feed by hopping along the ground, cautiously stopping every few moments to look around. They eat grass seeds, spiders, snails, grasshoppers, and caterpillars. They have been known to regularly visit spider webs to pick off small insects caught in them. Snakes are common predators of their nest eggs. The male painted bunting was once a very popular caged bird, but its capture and holding is currently illegal. Populations are primarily declining due to habitat being lost to development. The painted butt bunting is protected by the U.S. Migratory Bird Act. We must save this beautiful bird. The possibility of its extinction is a most unfortunate fact. The flamingo. Flamingos are a type of wading bird. 
Four flamingo species are distributed throughout the Americas, including the Caribbean, and two species are native to Africa, Asia, and Europe. The name flamingo comes from Portuguese or Spanish flamingo, flame-colored. Flamingos usually stand on one leg while the other is tucked beneath their bodies. Flamingos are capable flyers. They can open their bills by raising the upper jaw as well as by dropping the lower. Flamingos filter feed on brine shrimp, blue-green algae, as well as insect larvae, larvae, small insects, mollusks, and crustaceans. Their bills are especially adapted to separate mud and silt from the food they eat. Flamingos are very social birds. They live in colonies whose population can number in the thousands. The first flamingo hatched in a European zoo was a Chilean flamingo at Zoo Basel in Switzerland in 1958. Since then, over 384 flamingos have grown up in Basel and been distributed to other zoos around the world. Greater, an 83-year-old greater flamingo, believed to be the oldest in the world, died at the Adelaide Zoo in Australia in 2014. Flamingos are the national bird of the Bahamas. In the United States, pink plastic flamingo statues are popular lawn ornaments. Some folks mock such displays. I, however, disagree. If I had a lawn and a pink flamingo statue, I would consider such a thing worthy of compliments. Hyacinth macaw. The hyacinth macaw is a parrot native to Central and Eastern South America. With a length of one meter, it is longer than any other species of parrot. Habitat loss and the trapping of wild birds for the pet trade have taken a heavy toll on their population in the wild, so the species is classified as vulnerable. The majority of the hyacinth macaw diet is Brazil nuts from native palms such as acuri and bocaiva palms. They have very strong beaks for eating the kernels of hard nuts and seeds. Their strong beaks are even able to crack coconuts, the large Brazil nut pods, and macadamia nuts. The birds also boast dry, smooth tongues with a bone inside them that makes them an effective tool for tapping into fruits. This bird is even-tempered, calmer than other macaws, and known as a gentle giant. The hyacinth macaw lives today in Brazil, Bolivia, and Paraguay in South America. It prefers palms, swamps, woodlands, or semi-open wooded habitats. This bird is exceptionally noisy, fearless, curious, sedentary, and predictable. What a beautiful, amazing bird. The highest synth macaw really is irresistible. The Quetzal. Quetzals are strikingly colored birds found in forests, especially in humid highlands. The resplendent quetzal is the national bird of Guatemala. They have iridescent green or golden green wing coverts, black chest, and head with a red belly. These largely solitary birds feed on fruits, berries, insects, and small vertebrates such as frogs. Quetzals are also found in Mexico and the southwest, southernmost United States. When an avid bird watcher sights a quetzal, one imagines that he celebrates. The hoopoe. Hoopoes are colorful birds found across Africa, Asia, and Europe, notable for their distinctive crown of feathers. Most European and North Asian birds migrate to the tropics in winter. In contrast, the African populations are sedentary all year. They eat grasshoppers and other insects. Hoopoes sunbathe by spreading out their wings and tail low against the ground and tilting their head up. They also enjoy taking dust and sand baths. They also eat frogs, seeds, and berries, as well as in the air swarming insects. Other food items include crickets, locusts, beetles, earwigs, cicadas, antlions, and bugs. While incubating eggs on the nest, females produce foul-smelling liquid to deter predators. From the age of six days, nestlings can direct streams of feces at intruders and hiss at them in a snake-like fashion. Hoopoes were considered sacred in ancient Egypt. 
and Minoan Crete, Greece. In the Bible's books of Leviticus and Deuteronomy in the Old Testament, hoopoes are listed as detestable, not to be eaten, and not kosher. Hoopoes were seen as a symbol of virtue in ancient Persia. Hoopoes were thought as thieves across Europe and harbingers of war in Scandinavia. In Estonian tradition, this bird is strongly connected with death and the underworld. In medieval ritual magic, the hoopoe was thought of as an evil bird. In the Munich Manual of Demonic Magic, the sacrifice of a hoopoe summons demons. The hoopoe became the national bird of Israel in 2008. This bird appears on the logo of the University of Johannesburg, South Africa, and is the official mascot of the university's sports teams. The, the municipalities of Armstedt and Brecken, Germany, have hoopoes on their coats of armor, arms. The, the hoopoe really seems to have more than its fair share of charms. The Atlantic Puffin the Atlantic puffin is a species of seabird in the auk family. It is the only puffin native to the Atlantic Ocean. On land, it has the typical upright stance of an auk. At sea, it swims on the surface and feeds mainly on small fish, which it catches by diving underwater, using its wings for propulsion. The puffin has a black crown and back, pale gray cheek, patches, and white underparts. Its broad, boldly marked red and black beak and orange legs contrast with its plumage. Spending the autumn and winter months in the open sea of the cold northern seas, the Atlantic Atlantic puffin returns to coastal areas at the start of the breeding season in late spring. It nests in cliff-top colonies, digging a burrow in which a single white egg is laid. The chick mostly feeds on whole fish and grows rapidly. Colonies are mostly on islands with no terrestrial predators. The striking appearance, large, colorful bill, waddling gait, and behavior of this bird have given rise to nicknames such as Clown of the Sea and Sea Parrot. It is the official bird symbol for the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Like many seabirds, the Atlantic puffin spends most of the year far from land in the open ocean and only visits coastal areas to breed. (coughs) It is a sociable bird, and it usually breeds in large colonies. Atlantic puffins lead solitary existences when out at sea. When at sea, this bird bobs about like a cork. When it takes off, the Atlantic puffin patters across the surface of the water while vigorously flapping its wings before launching into the air. The Atlantic puffin eats fish, crustaceans, mollusks, and worms. While fishing, it can stay submerged underwater for up to a minute. In colonies, submissive birds lower their heads and hold their bodies horizontal and scurry past dominant individuals. At sea, puffins put their heads underwater to peer around for predators. The Norwegian municipality of Veyroy has an Atlantic puffin as its civic emblem. Puffins are viewed with affection because they are colorful and full of character. Countries that have depicted this bird on stamps include Great Britain, Canada, France, Iceland, Ireland, Norway, Portugal, Russia, and Slovenia. The publisher of paperback books Penguin Books introduced a children's book series called Puffin Books in 1939. A tradition exists on the Icelandic island of of Hamai for the children to rescue young puffins. The fledglings emerge from the nest and try to make their way to sea, but sometimes get confused, perhaps by the street lighting, ending up by landing in the village. The children collect them and liberate them to the safety of the sea. Such an image is so joyful and fills one with great glee. The Green Wing Macaw Parrot This bird, also known as the Red and Green Macaw, is a large, mostly red macaw. It is widespread in the forests and woodlands of northern and central South America. In recent years, there has been a marked decline in its numbers due to habitat loss and illegal capture for the parrot trade. The green-winged macaw generally mates for life. The female typically lays two or three eggs in a nest made in a hole in a tree. Since 1999, a population has appeared in Trinidad. This bird is endangered. 
Let's do our part to save the green wing macaw parrot. If we do, we, we surely will be glad. The Stork Billed Kingfisher. The Stork Billed Kingfisher is a tree kingfisher which is widely but sparsely distributed in the tropical Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia from India to Indonesia. The flight of this bird is labored and flapping but direct. The stork billed kingfisher lives in a variety of well wooded habitats near lakes, rivers, or coasts. It perches quietly whilst seeking food and is often inconspicuous despite its large size, a length of 14 inches. This bird hunts fish, frogs, crabs, rodents, and young birds. Adults dig their nests in riverbanks, decaying trees, or tree termite nests. In competitions for beautiful birds, this dandy creature must have won many contests. The peafowl. Male peafowls are referred to as peacocks and female peafowls as peahens. Peafowl are located in the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, and the, and the Congo River Basin of Central Africa. Male peafowl are known for their piercing calls and extravagant plumage. Peacocks are known for their train, their train, loud call, and fearless behavior. Peafowl are forest birds that nest on the ground but roost in trees. This bird eat, eats mostly plants, flower petals, seeds, seed heads, insects, reptiles, and amphibians. Peafowl are not picky and will eat almost anything they can fit in their beaks and digest. They also eat ants, crickets, termites, millipedes, and small snakes. Domesticated peafowl may also eat bread, oats, corn, cheese, cooked rice, cat food, broccoli, carrots, beans, beets, and peas. The peafowl originated in India. In Hinduism, the, India, the Indian peacock is the, is the mount of the god of war, Lord Kartikeya. Peacock feathers adorn the crest of Lord Krishna. Chandragupta Maurya, founder of the Mauryan Empire, was born an orphan and raised by a family farming, farming peacocks. The peacock's signature of elegance and royalty pertain, pertained in India during medieval times. The, the Mughal seat of power was called the peacock throne. India adopted the peacock as its national bird in 1963. Peacocks also symbolize pride and vanity. Ancient Greeks believed that the flesh of peafowl did not decay after death, so it became a symbol of immortality. The ancient Greek goddess Hera's chariot was pulled by peacocks. Alexander the Great was so amazed by this bird's beauty that he threatened the severest penalty for any man who killed a peafowl. The peacock is still used in the Easter season, especially in the East. The eyes in the peacock's tail feathers symbolize the all-seeing eye of God. A peacock drinking from a vase is used as a symbol of a Christian drinking from the waters of eternal life. The peacock also symbolizes the cosmos with its many eyes as the vault of heaven dotted by the sun, moon, and stars. Among Ashkenazi Jews, the golden peacock is a symbol for joy and creativity with the quills from the bird's feathers being a metaphor for a writer's inspiration. In 1956, John J. Graham created an abstraction, an abstraction of an 11 feathered peacock logo for American TV broadcaster NBC. What a bird! Truly a legendary beauty! The Rainbow Lorikeet The, the Rainbow Lorikeet is a species of parrot found in Australia. It is common along the eastern seaboard from northern Queensland to South Australia. Its habitat is rainforest, coastal bush, and woodland areas. Rainbow lorikeets often travel together in pairs and occasionally respond to calls to fly as a flock, then disperse again into pairs. This bird feeds mainly on fruit, pollen, and nectar, and possesses a tongue adapted especially for their particular diet. The end of the tongue is equipped with a papillate appendage adapted to gathering pollen and nectar from flowers. They also consume coconut, papaya, mangoes, apples, ma maize, and sorghum. The Corumbia Wildlife Sanctuary in Queensland, Australia is noted for its thousands of lorikeets. 
Around 8 o'clock a.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. each day, the birds gather in a huge noisy flock in the park's main area. Visitors are encouraged to feed them a specially prepared nectar, and the birds will happily settle on people's arms and legs to consume it. The rainbow lorikeet is the most commonly observed bird in Australia. Many fruit orchard owners consider them a pest, as they often fly in groups and strip trees containing fresh fruit. Well, that may be so, but at the same time, they sure are cute. The keel-billed toucan. The keel-billed toucan, also known as the sulfur-breasted toucan or rainbow-billed toucan, is a colorful Latin American member of the toucan family. It is a national bird of the country of Belize in Central America. This bird is found in tropical jungles from southern Mexico to Colombia, South America. The keel-billed toucan feeds on fruits, seeds, invertebrates, lizards, snakes, and small birds and their eggs. While the bill seems large and cumbersome, it is in fact a spongy hollow bone covered in keratin, a very light and hard protein. Keel-billed toucans have zygodactyl feet or feet with toes facing in different directions. Two toes face forward and two face back. Because toucans spend a large portion of time in the trees, this helps the birds stay on the branches of trees and jump from one branch to another. It roosts in the canopies of tropical, subtropical, and lowland rainforests up to altitudes of 1,900 meters or 6,200 feet. It roosts in holes of trees, often with several other toucans. This can be very cramped, so the birds tuck their tails and beaks under their bodies to conserve space while sleeping. Adding to the lack of space, the bottoms of the holes are often covered with pits from the fruit the toucans have eaten. Like many toucans, the keel-billed toucans are very social birds, rarely seen alone. This bird plays ball, one throwing a fruit in the air and a second seizing it. When eating a fruit, this bird uses its bill to dissect the fruit and then tosses its head back to swallow the fruit whole. What a wonderful bird! Certainly a creature easy to extol. The Baltimore Oriole The Baltimore Oriole is common in eastern North America as a migratory breeding bird. It received its name from the resemblance of the male's colors to those on the coat of arms of Lord Baltimore. The Baltimore Oriole is the state bird of Maryland. It is also the inspiration for the Baltimore Orioles baseball team. Baltimore Orioles spend the summer in the United States and Canada. They winter in Mexico, Central America, and Northern South America. The male sings a loud, fluty whistle with a buzz, buzzy, bold quality. This bird nests in trees such as elms, cottonwoods, maples, willows, or apples. Nestlings are fed by regurgitation by both parents. Predators include common grackles, American crows, blue jays, black-billed magpies, tree squirrels, and domestic cats, as well as eastern screech owl, sharp-shinned hawks, peregrine falcons, great horned owls, and barn owls. They mainly eat insects, berries, and nectar, and are often seen sipping at hummingbird feeders. This bird seeks the darkest mulberries, reddest cherries, and deepest purple grapes. Baltimore Orioles sometimes use their bills in an unusual way called gaping. They stab the closed bill into soft fruits, then open their mouths to cut a juicy swath from which they drink with their tongues. Bird lovers of the Baltimore Oriole imitate their call. To do so, they breathe... They breathe in a lot of oxygen into their lungs. The African crowned crane. This bird is found in eastern and southern Africa and is the national bird of Uganda. The African crowned crane has long legs for wading through tall grass. The feet are large yet slender adapted for balance rather than defense or grasping. This bird is located in dry savanna in sub-Saharan Africa although it nests in somewhat wetter habitats. Dancing is an integral part of, the, of courtship, but also may be done at any time of the year. These cranes eat plants, seeds, grain, insects, frogs, worms, snakes, small fish, and the eggs of aquatic animals. 
Stamping their feet as they walk, they flush out insects, which are quickly caught and eaten. They also associate with antelopes and gazelles and grab prey items disturbed by their grazing. They spend the entire day looking for food. At night, the crowned crane spends its time in the trees, sleeping and resting. Chicks can run as soon as they hatch. Also known as the gray-crowned crane, this bird has been seen to congregate in large numbers in a ceremony akin to a wedding when two chicks are being married off. The new couple dance for a while before flying off to start a new family. This bird is featured in in the flag of Uganda and in the country's coat of arms. This delightful bird is certainly abundant with many charms. The Bohemian Wax The Bohemian Waxwing. The Bohemian Waxwing is a starling sized passerine bird that breeds in the northern forests of the Palearctic and North America. The breeding habitat is coniferous forests, usually near water. Waxwings can be very tame in winter, entering towns and gardens in search of food. Waxwings eat fruit and insects with mosquitoes and midges, the most common prey. Waxwings sometimes consume several hundred berries a day, more than double their own weight. One individual was recorded as eating between 6,000 and 1,000 cotton Easter berries in six hours and defecating every four minutes. Waxwings often drink water or eat snow in winter, since the sugar in their fruit tends to dehydrate the birds through an osmotic effect. Waxwings are preyed upon by birds of prey, including rough-legged buzzards, Eurasian sparrowhawks, and prairie falcons. If a cedar waxwing's luck runs out, off it goes through the sky, captured by a bird of prey, clutched in its talons. The Broad-Billed Hummingbird The Broad-Billed Hummingbird is a medium-sized hummingbird of North America. The breeding habitat is the arid scrub of the Sonoran Desert, Chihuahuan Desert, Ecotone, and the Madrian Sky Islands in Arizona, New Mexico, and Mexico. This hummingbird is partially migratory, retreating from northernmost areas during the winter to Central America. These birds feed on nectar from flowers and flowering trees, using a long extendable tongue, or catch insects on the wing. What a wonderful bird! The sight of a broad-billed hummingbird on many faces a smile does bring. The Dusky Lory The Dusky Lory is a species of parrot. It is found in New Guinea in the offshore islands of Batanta, Salawati, and Yapen. Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical moist lowland forests, mangrove forests, and the montane forest. All birds have their special charm, but it is certain that for some, the dusky lorry is the best. The Scarlet Macaw The Scarlet Macaw is a native of Central and South America. It lives in humid, evergreen, tropical forests. The scarlet macaw is the national bird of Honduras. This bird makes very loud, high, and sometimes low-pitched, throaty squawks and screams, designed to carry many miles to call for their groups. The typical lifespan is 40 to 50 years, although it can live till age 90. Captive macaws are adept mimics of human speech. This bird eats bugs, snails, foliage, flowers, and nectar. They live all over the Amazon rainforest in South America. As a child, I had a scarlet macaw made from paper, which was bought in Mexico. It stayed on a perch in my room. But a real bird is so much better than a replica. The wood duck. The wood duck is a species of perching duck found in North America. It is one of the most colorful North American waterfowl. Their breeding habitat is wooded swamps, shallow lakes, marshes or ponds, and creeks in eastern North America, the west coast of the United States, and western Mexico. Unlike most other ducks, the wood duck has sharp claws for perching in trees. They mainly eat berries, acorns, seeds, and insects. The population of wood duck was in serious decline in the late 19th century, 
as a result of severe habitat loss and market hunting both for meat and plumage for the ladies' hat market in Europe. In response to the Migratory Bird Treaty established in 1916, wood duck populations began to recover. In 2013, the Royal Canadian Mint created two coins to commemorate the wood duck. If you have one of them, you truly are in luck. The Bluebird of Paradise The Bluebird of Paradise is a beautiful, fabulous, and extravagant bird with glorified and fancy flank feathers and two long wires. This bird is frugivorous. Its diet includes a good variety of fruit, including figs, droops, and berries, as well as insects and reptiles. The male performs a breathtaking courtship display. He hangs from a branch upside down. The black oval with red margin at the center of his chest is rhythmically enlarged and contracted. His violet blue plumes spread out in a fan looking like an apron. He sways his body back and forth while the black wires form two impressive impressive arches down either side. During this display, he continuously makes a soft insect-like buzzing noise mixed with a chittering or chattering noise to rope the female back in if she moves away. Seeing one of these in the wild would certainly make one's day. The Gurney's Pitta The Gurney's Pitta is a medium-sized passerine bird. It breeds, it breeds mainly in the Malay Peninsula with populations mainly in Myanmar or also known as Burma in Southeast Asia. Its name comes from the British banker and amateur ornithologist John Henry Gurney. This bird eats slugs, insects, and earthworms. The Gurney's pitta is endangered. It was thought to be extinct for some time after 1952, but it was rediscovered in 1986. Its rarity has been caused by the clearance of the natural forest in southern Burma and peninsular Thailand. The Gurney's Peta was voted the most wanted bird in Thailand by bird watchers visiting that country. One imagines these bird lovers in their quest to see this lovely bird, their determination, their declarations. We must see the Gurney's Peta. It must be. The Lilac Breasted Roller. The Lilac Breasted Roller is an African bird of the roller family. It is widely distributed in su- Sub-Saharan Africa, and is a vagrant to the southern Arabian Peninsula. It prefers open woodland and savanna. It perches conspicuously at the top of trees, poles, or other high vantage points from where it spots insects, lizards, scorpions, snails, small birds, and rodents moving about on the ground. The lilac-breasted roller is unofficially considered the national bird of Kenya, East Africa. The call of this bird is a harsh, sawing, Rock, 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 that is given during flight. Usually, it will perch to sing. During courtship, a lilac-breasted roller will fly upwards and then tip forward with the wings closed before flapping to gain speed towards the ground. While leveling out at highest speed, the bird will roll to the left and right a few times, uttering a raucous cock harsh before sweeping up again. The display may end with a harsh chuckling. Its food includes ground-dwelling insects, spiders, scorpions, centipedes, millipedes, snails, small birds, slow-moving lizards, chameleons, and snakes. They swoop in and grab prey with their beaks. If the prey is small, they will swallow it on the ground. These aggressive birds will carry large prey back to a perch and beat it until it is dismembered. I guess the gruesome action takes place until the creature or meal surrendered. Well, that concludes today's presentation. So, so many, there's so many more other birds in the world. One of the simple pleasures of life, the birds, and uh, one of the most beautiful things in God's creation in this world, all the different interesting birds of the world that we can watch and enjoy. 
Uh, you might consider checking out, excuse me, our website, Adventures in History with Peter J. Ray at peterjray.com. So far, we've made 685 history videos in seven areas. World history, American history, book reviews, poetic tours, Cleveland baseball, family history, and autobiography. There is a donate feature. You might consider making a donation so we can continue making these videos. If you live in Metro Manila, Philippines, and are looking for a high school, excuse me, you might consider Russ Celeste Educational Center. Restless is located on, located on Allen B Street, also known as the Incline Plain in Barangay Maytunas, not far from the corner of Pigavara and Wilson Street in San Juan, Metro Manila, Philippines. At Restless, we specialize in helping young people who have had difficulty in the larger traditional schools. And uh, we're more than a school. We're a warm, supportive community, and we strive to be creative and innovative. And the website is restless.education. Excuse me. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.